Hi guys, welcome back to another video from HMS. It is good to have you back. I'm OJ and today we'll be discussing the exams you take in medical school. Are you excited? I'm not. Nobody is ever really excited about the exams. But let's get into it. If you watch the curriculum video, this is a follow-up to that video and you know when you take the major exams in medical school, the professional exams, the MBs as we call them. The first one is the MB part 1, which is taking 300 level to 400 level, comprises anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, divided into five. The MCQs, the theory, the practical, and the oral. Okay, four, not five, divided into four. We have videos detailing how to take each of those exams, so go watch those if you haven't. Next is the MD part 3, which is the pathology and pharmacology, and it follows the same uh, model as the part 1 because those two classes or three classes, yeah, 200 level, 300, 400 level, are like the basic classes. They are not clinical. You don't go to the hospital to take, to take those classes and those courses. So you have the MCQ for the pathology, pharmacology, the theory, the practical, and the oral exams. And usually, most schools, um, this, the MB exams take about 70% of your total score. So, your in courses, assignments, attendance, all those things will just be about 30%. Cool? Cool. The next exam, now you're in the clinical school proper, meaning you are going to the hospital, you are seeing patients, you are shadowing doctors, you are on call, etc., etc all that exciting stuff with your word codes. The exam changes a little in that instead of your practical exam where you would, you know, go to the lab, do wet practical, or answer some alternatives to practical questions, for the clinicals, you do a clinical exam. It could be in different forms. The long case is when you have to clerk a patient, okay? That's something we do in the hospital. When you go to the hospital, the doctor asks you a group of questions which he uses to make up an history he examines you, right, and all those things will be put in your case file. So since you are training to be doctors, you can be examined by being given a patient and asked to clerk the patient, ask questions about their ailment, examine them and come up with a possible diagnosis. Then an examiner will come, ask you questions about your diagnosis and like we like to say, percuss you. So <laughs> you have to, you know, answer the questions and then you'll be given a map based off of that. We have the OSCE, which is something like steeple chase steeple chase is the practical the practical version of it the 200 level 300 level 400 level version of it which is when you will be time it will be timed you have to look you have to move from station to station and answer questions based on the time and we have the short case which is not as extensive as the long case but it's also a clinical exam so that's that about clinical exams very important and then the orals the clinical exam is so important because there's something we call clinical failure in medical school so if you fail your clinicals even if you pass the theory mcq everything everything you cannot move ahead unfortunately so you begin to take exams like this with the part three which is um pediatrics ong you take mcq theory um clinical exam and then the orals. The orals are constant throughout. Okay, the Viva exams. If you want tips and tricks on that, watch the video. It should be suggested somewhere here. Then, um, the last and the final MB, which is the MB part 4, the final MBBS, is medicine, surgery, community medicine. It differs from school to school, actually. So, but majorly medicine and surgery. And it's a follow the pediatrics or allergy format. So, MCQs, theory, clinical exam and your orals yeah so for courses like community medicine you do your project and defend it and just like any other student in any other course in the university so there's no escape from that so that's that about the breakdown of the exams that are taken in medical school i hope you gained something if you have any questions please ask in the comment section share this video like subscribe and remember you can be doctor and happy see you in the next one bye